Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 with reference to foreign trade policy 2023. Consider the following statements. 1. The new policy will be shifting from incentives to a remission and entitlement-based regime. 2. This policy will be valid for the next 5 years. 3. The new FTP seeks to make the Indian rupee a global currency and allow international trade settlement in the domestic currency. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is B. There is no end date to the policy and will be updated as and when necessary. The FTP benefits have been extended to e-commerce exports, which are estimated to grow to USD 200 to 300 billion by 2030. Faridabad, Moradabad, Mirzapur and Varanasi have been declared as towns of export excellence. Question to India and Malaysia had recently agreed to settle trade in the Indian rupees. Which bank had become the first bank in India to operationalize this option by opening a special rupee Vostro account through its corresponding bank in Malaysia, India International Bank of Malaysia? A. State Bank of India B. Bank of Baroda C. Punjab National Bank D. Union Bank of India Answer is D. Question 3 with reference to the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, CPTPT, consider the following statements. 1. It is a free trade agreement between Japan, Malaysia, Vietnam, Australia, Singapore, Brunei, New Zealand, Canada, Mexico, Peru and Chile. 2. The Germany is the first European country to join the agreement and the largest economy after Japan. 3. The CPTPT started life as the Trans-Pacific Partnership, with the US negotiating to join under President Obama. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 3 only The answer is B. The UK is the first European country to join the agreement and the largest economy after Japan. It is one of the biggest trading blocks in the world, worth 15% of global GDP once the UK joins. The CPTPE started life as the Trans-Pacific Partnership, with the US negotiating to join under President Obama. This would have made the club the world's largest free trade deal. But in 2017, Trump withdrew from the deal on his first day in office. The remaining countries continued talks, eventually signing the CPTPE in March 2018. The CPTPE gives signatory countries greater access to one another's markets and reduced tariffs on trade on the vast majority of items. Tariffs remain on some particularly sensitive areas to some countries, for example, Japan's rice industry. In return, countries cooperate on regulations and standards. In return, countries cooperate on regulations and standards. Question 4. Consider the following statements about the competition. Amendment, Bill 2022, recently passed by both the houses. 1. It includes the indexation of penalties to global turnover. 2. It introduced the concept of deal value threshold. 3. It reduces the time limit for approval of mergers and acquisitions from the existing 210 days to 45 days. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 only The answer is A. It reduces the time limit for approval of mergers and acquisitions from the existing 210 days to 150 days. The Competition Commission of India, CCI, 
is now expected to frame regulations for the implementation of new features such as deal value threshold and settlement and commitment mechanism. The Competition Amendment Bill 2020 to seeks to, among other things, broaden the scope of anti-competitive agreements, introduce deal value threshold as an additional criterion for notifying m and to capture killer acquisitions in digital markets which were hitherto falling below the notification criteria due to asset and revenue light business models of new age companies. Question 5 Consider the following statements about Bandipur Tiger Reserve. One Project Tiger was launched in 1973. Bandipur was among the first nine reserves to be brought under the flagship program. To it included most areas that were already protected areas as Venugopal Wildlife Park. 3. The Bandipur Tiger Reserve is an important component of the country's first biosphere reserve, the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only Answer is C. The Bandipur Tiger Reserve is an important component of the country's first biosphere reserve Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve and the landscape spanning Bandipur, Nagrahole, Mudumlai, and Vainard complex is home not only to the highest number of tigers in the country about 724 but is also to the largest Asian elephant population. Question 6 With reference to meteor showers, consider the following statement. 1. Meteor showers are beautiful celestial events, peppering the sky with shooting stars. 2. AM Chinese company is set to launch satellites that will trigger an artificial meteor shower. Three meteors are chunks of rocks and ice that are ejected from comets as they orbit the sun. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is B. A Japanese company is set to launch satellites that will trigger an artificial meteor shower. Tokyo-based Ale is set to launch the satellite in 2025 and it hopes to give people all over the world the opportunity to view the world's first live human-made meteor shower. The project is called Sky Canvas and it is designed to collect atmospheric data in the mesosphere, which is the third layer of the atmosphere. The mesosphere is too low to be observed by satellites and too high for weather balloons or aircraft. Around 30 meteor showers that are visible to observers on Earth occur every year and some of them have been observed for centuries. For example, the Perseids meteor shower, which usually happens every year in August, was first observed about 2000 years ago and was recorded in Chinese annals. Question 7. Consider the following statements about in Sumida. 1. It is a stealth offshore patrol vessel. 2. Constructed at Goa Shipyard LTD. 3. It can carry an advanced light combat helicopter on board. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 3 only. The answer is C. She is routinely deployed for fleet support operations such as anti-piracy patrol, sir, hadra, surveillance and escort missions. Question 8 with reference to Vembanad and Ashtamudi lakes, consider the following statements. 1. Both are included in the Ramsar list of wetlands. 2. Ashtamudi is the longest lake in India as well as the largest lake in the state of Kerala. 3. Vimbanad Lake is also called the gateway to the backwaters of Kerala and is well known for its houseboat and backwater resorts. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only 
The answer is A. Kuttanad, also known as the Rice Ball of Kerala, has the lowest altitude in India and is also one of the few places in the world where cultivation takes place below sea level. Kuttanad lies on the southern portion of Vimbanad. Vimbanad is the longest lake in India as well as the largest lake in the state of Kerala. Ashtamudi Lake is also called the gateway to the backwaters of Kerala and is well known for its houseboat and backwater resorts. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.